read aloud. Hello, my little princes and princesses. It's Miss Sasha, and it's story time again. Today, we're going to read Maybe Something Beautiful, How Art Transformed a Neighborhood, written by F. Isabel Campoy and Teresa Howell, illustrated by Rafael Lopez. In the heart of a gray city, there lived a girl who loved to doodle, draw, color, and paint. Every time she saw a blank piece of paper, Mira thought to herself, hmm, maybe. And because of this, her room was filled with color and her heart was filled with joy. On her way to school one day, Mira gave a round apple to Mr. Henry, the owner of the shop down the street. She gave a flower to Miss Lopez, the lady with the sparkling eyes. She gave a songbird to Mr. Sachs and a red heart to the policeman who walked up and down the streets. On her way home, Mira taped a glowing sun onto the wall hiding in the shadows. Her city was less gray, but not much. The next day, Mira saw a man with a pocket full of paintbrushes. He gazed at the wall. He looked at her son. He held up his fingers in a square and peered through them. Hmm, he said thoughtfully. What do you see? Mira asked. Maybe something beautiful, the man replied. Then just like that, he dipped a brush in the paint. Bam! Pow! The shadows scurried away. Sky blue cut through the gloom. The man's laughter was like a rainbow spreading across the sky. Who are you? Mira asked. I'm an artist, he said. A muralist. I paint on walls. I'm an artist too. She told him. He handed Mira a paintbrush. Then come on. Mira dipped it in the loudest color she saw. Yowie! The wall lit up like sunshine. As the man drew pictures on the bricks, Mira added color, punch, and pizzazz. Soon, Mr. Sachs joined in. Then came others. Everybody painted to the rhythm. Salsa, merengue, bebop. Even Mira's mother painted and danced the cha-cha-cha. The whole neighborhood became a giant block party until the policeman walked up. Excuse me, he said. The music stopped. Mira put her brush down. They were surely in trouble. The officer cleared his throat, then paused. May I paint with you, he asked. So Mira handed him a paintbrush. Teachers and papas jumped in. Babies, too. Mira and the man handed out brush after brush. Colors spread throughout the streets. And so did Joy. Wherever Mara and the man went, Art followed like the string of a kite. After they colored the walls, they painted utility boxes and benches. They decorated sidewalks with poetry and shine. Everyone danced. Together, they created something more beautiful than they had ever imagined. When their clothes were splattered with a million colors, everyone sat down to rest. Except the muralist, his eyes sparkled. You, my friends, are all artists, he told them. The world is your canvas, he smiled wide, then pulled everything together in big sweeping brushes. His paintbrush was like a magic wand. When he was finished, Mira added one more bird, way up in the sky. Maybe, she thought, just maybe. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story as much as I did, chocolate cinnamon readers. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss the next story. See you next time.